yep, back out just for a little, well, because I'm bored really. I've got uh, half an hour between jobs. I'm up in Hexham, up to Hadrian's Wall. So what I'm going to do is try a little experiment because it's dead windy. I'm going to try with the slayer on, the wind slayer, and I'm going to take it off. See if there's a big difference. I think there is. I think it makes a huge difference. We'll see. Here's the wall. We'll get to the wall. Start there. Here's the uh, amazing craftsmanship of the Romans. So I've got the wind slayer off for now. Of course, the wind's drop. Well, it doesn't make it. It is windy. But I want it to be more windy so we can get an idea of what it's like. It's mad this just here. There's no other no other part of it. Let's see if we can get the wind coming in. This is the uh, it's the bedroom. Must have been. This will be the landing. There's the wind. So, are we getting any wind noise? Because we are. Try and knock it out. Brunton turret. Pause video here for information. Hey, look, it was narrow curtain wall. Jam slots, doorway, it was it was that. That was that. Brunton turret. A Roman watchtower. Emperor Hadrian's frontier project in around AD 122. What does that mean? AD. After dark. Come on, we need a bit of wind. So we're just talking to myself in the field really. Looking a bit mad in my yellow coat. High vis. That was the turret. I had a friend who had turrets. But he was foul mouthed. Alright, so I don't know if we're getting any wind noise whatsoever. Typically, as I'm testing it, it's not windy. If I wanted to do a normal video, it would be blowing a gale. Look at this vast land. Right, we'll change over, we'll put the wind slayer on. Ah, oh, there's bloody people coming. They laugh at us. So I'm by this great big tree. This is the wind slayer on. And it's blowing a gale now, it's really blowing. That wind's coming in now, look at this. Do you think Robin Hood hid in here from the Romans? He must have done. I bet he did. There's the turret. And uh, there's the wind. Look at all these trees. This is mint. Look at that. I love this tree. It's huge. There we go. So there's the wind blowing and I've got the wind slayer on, so how's that? What's that like? I think it's better. Not that I would know until I get back. I go back down by the turret. These people will think I'm mad. So we're down by the uh, the wall and look at the um look at the mortar. See when I test mortar like this, you can crumble it in your fingers. This is here at last. I don't know what they made it out of. Some people say they made it out of oyster shells and uh, just like sandy mud with a bit of water. And the cement will have been um, the fuel ash out of the fires that they'd light a fire, get a bit of fuel ash, mix it with the oyster shells, crush them up. Bit of mud, bit of sandy soil, 
bit of water, and there's your mortar. Pulverised fuel ash is still used now, PFA still used in concrete. The Romans knew what they were doing, didn't they? So it seem. Definitely. So that's basically my wind test. Oh! <laughs> Watch where you're walking. So I'm gonna go now on to the next job is the A69. They've took the roundabout out. They're actually putting a roundabout back in, but they're putting a bridge over. So the road's gonna go under the bridge and it'll be a straight drive all the way. No, no hold-ups at Hexham. When they're lifting the bridge deck in, but that's gonna be a good job. I'd love to be able to go and see that. He says I can come up, but I don't know if I'll be working on it. Anyway, just rambling on. Just getting the wind noise, you see. So that's it. Good test. Trust me, it's really windy here. So I'm on that road now. This is the A69. This. This used to go, it used to go up, up that bank there. But what they've done is they've built this bridge. The bridge decks are up there. They've put these giant concrete supports in. The bridge is gonna go across here. So this road is just gonna go straight up there all the way through, boosh. No more holdups. And where the roundabout was, there'll be bridges to take into Hexham and back. So this is my project. I'll show you what I do. The concrete there in them bridge supports needs to be tested for strength. So you come along here. What these lads do is be mac lot. They make concrete cubes big heavy concrete cubes I'll put that in my machine top and bottom load it up test for strength and hopefully it gets the strength because if it doesn't get the strength they're gonna have problems so that's very important that it comes up to scratch so that's it that's basically why I'm here so we'll come back next time we'll come back and we'll have them bridge decks up So, just parked up at the side of the road. Scout about. Can't believe the wind stopped blowing as soon as I start recording. So there you go. You hear that wind now blowing, blowing like mad. It's wild. It's it's not wild. But it's bad enough. So you've got the wind noise there, right? So what I'm going to do now is. Put the muff on. Muff. Muff. See what that's like. See if it uh, kills it any. Right, I won't move. So I've put the muff on, and uh, what do we think? Is that any better? It's still blowing. See the trees are blowing there. Can't really see. But it's still windy. And that's still blowing a gale, so is that better or is that just as bad? Let's decide. This wind muff, oh, I don't know how much they are. They're not very much. But for an inexpensive way to cut out the wind noise from your videos, I think they're spot on. Like, you can get them for all GoPros. I don't know about the other cameras. Probably can. You can make your own. Just make your own. You can cover the microphone with it. That's all you need. Love climbing me. Hadrian's wall path, this. Heaven field, one and a quarter that way. So if you do a Hadrian's wall path, you'll know this. This is where you cross and you just walk down there. Keeps you off that blooming road. That road's terrible. It's normally really, really busy. And people don't hang about them. Big tippers don't hang about. Right, I'm gonna go to my next job now, so that's it. See how that comes out. Good. I like it. <laughs> 